What's up guys, this is the Roseman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the 13 Colonies. So to run off where we left off, we were assaulting the Polish territory of Mexico, who they captured it from the new Spaniards. I'm taking it as an opportunity to gain a pretty valuable region, especially in terms of tax income. So without further ado, let's attack. So they have no mortars, which is the big one. <laughs> uh, so should be should be a decent classic siege. I'll be in there ready if New Spain decides to declare on me, because they definitely could. Because I now own that I will now own well I soon will own their capital. So they can't they're unlikely to just let me have it. Mayor of. Okie dokie. Let's deploy our forces. Just one out of the way. So we've got one gun battery. A howitzer battery. Or two howitzer batteries. Seven. These guys just stay up on the hill out of the way. These four will. So I'm not going to try to take this side, I want to attack this edge. So I want to blow a hole in here, maybe get some guys up on the walls here. That's my effort. My cavalry will also be looking for a role to play. I mean, how is this just open fire whoever you like? Oh, they're aiming at guys off the walls. I don't really know if I'd bother about that. Aim for... Thing you have line infantry. Securing the gate. So let's speed up time a little bit. Because right now the only thing that's happening is the walls are not being knocked down. Or Actually, maybe I'll aim for this. I don't know what they'd call that. Bastion, I suppose. Um, because it's. It'll be quite valuable to knock this down. Um, because as they start to try to retreat down the walls, if we can get this down to 50%, then this all breaks and they all fall off and die. To be honest, I might swap targets for one volley. They've got to 50%. My, heart, my foot artillery can shoot at this section of the wall. Maybe they can't shoot at it. Nope, for some reason they can't shoot at it. Which is a shame. But it's our way in. Open fire. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, it's not fifty percent. It must be more then to break the the walkway. Eighty-five percent. One more volley, and that'd be a decent amount of actual Polish, good Polish infantry killed. Uh, one more volley. Just one more. I mean, oh, get some. There we got some. 73, if it was 75. Bang. Did he miss? So they might have missed. Yeah, for some reason they're not letting me target it. So let's set uh, these guys, just found the militia to the back. Advance in the colonial line of foot. It's advanced three of my storming divisions on this side of the, of the defences. The other four go down the far end. It's almost as though they know that's what I'm trying to do. No, these are marines. How it says aim for the marines. 
Bouncing artillery, man. Look at that. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Boom. Spectacular misses all around. My spies did not manage to open the gates. That was all for nothing. To be honest, I don't know if that's a thing anymore. Okay, let's speed up a little, speed up a little bit more. Be only because everyone's moving into position, there's not really that much going on. Once the siege begins, then, then we shall see. So the plan is to take this union of grenadiers, sit here out front and just block the way in, the colonial line, just get your way, get your way in. She's got the grenadiers up here. You try get up here. You carry on what you're doing. In my line infantry, walk up. Yep, they know what's going on. So I want to have some blockers here just in case the cavalry storm out. Hey, look, so misses from here did actually manage to kill some infantry. Some cavalry, I should say. Are firing at us. The Marines are charging. If we can engage the Marines over over in here, that'd be handy because we could trap them quite nicely. So when they get in position, just form square. What are you wavering? Do something like this. So we're going to be engaging the Marines. So this unit of colonial line is going to die, but it means that we will be we're advancing strongly on all other positions. can charge over the walls as well. Yep, so we're going to die to the marines, but we are still going to do a good amount of damage to them. Let's turn firewall off, because they're not... No one's firing. So these guys are just... Their job is to just get on the wall. It's not to attack anyone yet, it's just to form up. So these guys are going to suck up any cavalry that come in. I'm sure some grenadiers also coming up here. Yep. They're picking up my grenadiers outside the front, but it's not going to work. Yep, these guys routed, which is not surprising. 
but it has managed to keep their elite infantry busy. Well, the Grenadiers get stuck in. Don't just stand there like little lemons. Howitzers keep targeting the, the breach. Let's send one in. Once you guys are all up on the wall, I want you down on the base. Artillery fire, the howitzer fire, get stuck in. I think I might have just sent them in just to die, but. Okay, these Pandaras are really causing problems. Back up on the wall. Just get back up on the wall. Ah, we're losing another infantry unit. Imagine a break of military unit, but to be honest, this isn't going well. But we are going to keep fighting them. Okay, no, don't. Don't worry about the fight, just get back up on the wall. Oh yes, please, charge out. So this is not going well. Grenadiers might take the edge, might take the. might win over here. No, the howitzers are doing damaging stuff. No, to my Grenadiers route because my artillery spooked them. This unit of infantry definitely came back. In which case, you, I don't know if you're going to have to stay in square. Just to deal with the cavalry. God damn, run! You're luring them all out. Mind a few routes. I send you guys to support the last combat on the wall, mainly because the cavalry. Well, so the annoying thing is my grenadiers are like running out to attack them, but I don't want them to do that. So when this cavalry unit's routed. When this infantry unit's routed, the cavalry go in, the one unit of cavalry goes in. We came back, so come back towards the main force. Right now my plan for these guys is just to wear them down. Cavalry goes straight in. Let's work on another breach. OK, 
keep charging in. No. Okay, now try draw them out again. Same way as last time. Out you come. Cavalry coming at least. That's a win. down. So another cavalry unit down. Good. Oh, another unit of Dragoons is coming out. Yes, please. Yeah, I don't expect this guy to win. It's just about... If you guys could get up on the wall, that'd be great, because they're actually they're actually outnumbering them on the walls. Let's give them a bit of support. Provincial Cav is finally chasing after us, but to be honest, there's so few grenadiers that most of them will probably do quite well at getting up on the wall. Don't wave with a 20, 20... Oh, no, why are you... They're going to have to attack this provincial cav unit. It's being sneaky. Okay, how it says... So take out this unit of provincial cav. Okay, current oh, no. See, as soon as I try to send them up the walls, the cavalry comes back. So just keep at them. Okay, now is the time. Bowl my cavalry in. Especially if they try to chase me, that'd be even better. So let's run my cavalry just straight through. They form square, my guys don't care. Sending the infantry. Kill your regulars quickly. I just didn't want them sniping into my combat. Huh, if this works, I'll feel very, very sneaky. This guy's job, this guy's job is just to hold, to block, to block these guys off, to let my other units actually get in. Oh, come on, just kill the Seekers, one guy. Okay, 
because whoever kills you first can go support the melee combat. Don't care about these guys. My ground ears are doing enough to hold them up. Okay, so we've got a sneaking suspicion that this guy won't die unless, like, my guy's shooting. Because my cavalry's been failing to get in for ages. Let's halt my artillery fire because it might be doing so much more harm. Yeah, he's definitely got to be shot. Could well be the gunner that is my downfall. I really hope they. Kill the enemy general. I mean, if I lose this because of a bugged. Artillery unit. Okay, I want to speed up time because this is just painful to watch. Like, look, he's just not dying. So just shoot him. Please just shoot him. Commit my general. Oh, they've just got to survive. Just survive. Come on, Harry Barry. They know 30 seconds. They're confident. They're very confident. Blow my general through. Keep him in. God, this is just cheese. Absolute cheese. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if you noticed, guys. I was getting really nervous at the end of that. <laughs> oh, God. That was not a heroic victory. That was terrible. Turns out Polish infantry are a lot better. I think my, my howitzers certainly didn't help. Because they did, a, they did a better job killing my own men than seemingly. Sound the call. Damn right. This is ours. Do you have any universities or anything that needs destroying? No. Good. That's an extra two grand. Thank you very much. Good stuff. So you're sieging them. You're replenishing. Or is it just the just this unit of guards that's knackered? So let's pull them back. Drop unit of grenadiers into Brussels. Let's take Granville. Move out of out of the territory. Let's get Simon into Brussels. There are currently no I troops. I know stated. there's no troops there. Sir. Granville's going to move up to Cologne next turn when he's in range. Oof, sweet. I'm not going to assault Strasbourg because I've got flashbacks. Fla well, not flashbacks. Flash forwards of mortars and death and destruction and doom. Sweet. So, I'm going to hit and turn. We've got steam engine, that's handy, very handy. No, wait. I'm sure it's what we got. Oh, I don't. I don't. We're moving on to steam engine. We've got machine tools, which gives us. Uh, roads. Top tier roads. So, Florence. Nothing super useful. Go for improved coppering. Charlotte, go for power loom. I think that's better than seed planting drill. I'm not so bothered about the cost of building farms and plantations. Yeah, power loom's good. We've got lots, we've got lots more trade or industrial stuff than we did before. Cool. Let's hit in turn. 
<laughs> I am... I am curious as to why we're not getting as much income. It must be people, people are... You know, people aren't being sieged now, who or blockaded now, who will be blockaded in future. Like, I know the French are blockading. Nope, I don't want... I'm not going to give you tech for trade. I'm not, I'm not going to give you tech for military access, because I have no need to access your lands. When I want to access your lands, United Provinces, I will kill you. Yep, that's enough to push the Polish back. God, I thought that was... The Oh, the Poles attacked a British Navy. I thought, hang on, that's a massive Polish invasion force. Oh, no, wait, no, it isn't. Ah. Here come the Russians. <clears throat> Istanbul. And to be honest, if I take Istanbul, I might even be able to trade it with the Ottomans for Cairo. <laughs> Or if I took, oh, if I took Ankara, if I took and trade it for Cairo and to become allies, that might be to Persia. That would be my my plan. Were it to be said that I had a plan, Mwahaha. Yeah, it's a lot of new Spain, new Spain, new Spain troops. That's right. Leave my territory for good. Uh oh, I think it's gonna go blockade someone. That's cool. Well, Westphalians aren't gonna push. Doki. There is unused land really? suitable for farming in this region. Uh, Yucatan. Do need to do a lot of repairing here. Twenty nine grand this time. Let's replenish my battered army and let's start building some mines. Farm, plantation, good roads, top roads. Uh, so you got low yield, average yield, meager yield. It's not as much as I thought. Meager yield is twelve hundred. Low is fifteen hundred. Actually, what I might do is hop over back to... Oh, lots of these territories already have metal roads anyway. Corn State Granville. Hit the Westphalian force, and that's just a bunch of chaff. But I think I'm just going to siege it and force them to come out towards me. That's my clever plan. Uh, can we tax you now, Morocco? We are taxing you, actually. What about you, Lisbon? Yes. Prosperous iron workshops and average yield iron mine. Twelve hundred. Yeah, why not? At the ready. Yep. So you're going to have to build bow and wait for orders. Okay. I think this is part of the the relief of. Croatia that's about to happen now. So let's take yes, Tristan sir. Dalton with his unbloodied army and probably go hit these two guys. Yes. Or do I march? Your humble servant. Ready for orders. Okay, so I want to move she might move Leonard Spencer up to go hit there are Munich. no troops stationed at this fort. Sheridan Goodfellow. Stand, it could easily be occupied by an enemy army. Sir. Can take this. You Order. go to Venice. Ready and awaiting order. 
Because I don't know which direction these guys are going to go. Because I don't... I don't... Your uh, orders, your majesty? So let's Take ready for battle. do a bit of raiding. Ready. I think I have to push these guys up to this bottleneck there here. Are currently no troops orders. stationed at... Just to intercept them. If they try to decide to engulf and surround my force up here with Lennon Spencer. Take ready. Then let's take Tris. Mm. Let's push him up. Let's send one unit. Oh no, I can't send one unit. Okay, it's a nice balanced force. They've got lots of militia infantry, and lots of new, fresh, untrained infantry. Because lots of their experienced troops have been destroyed. Polish Hussar Guards. Have yet to see any winged hussars yet, which is upsetting. Yes, sir. Let's look for any generals. Let's start to try and take them out. Or a knife. Bang! Choices. No. Raids. Ooh, we got quick climb shells. No hat, no hussars here. No winged hussars here, no winged hussars here. Well. Now we have quick climb. Let us assault this army. However, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the beginning of our offensive against Polish, Poland, Lithuania. Thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers.